Hello students, today we are going to find the trigonometric ratios of the angle 90 degree minus theta. For this, let's take the axis of coordinates and a circle is drawn with the center at origin. And a point P, X, Y on the circumference is taken, which lie in the first quadrant here. P, X, Y on the circumference, the first quadrant so that we have OP is the radius R and we have angle POX equals to theta. Angle POX equals to theta. In our previous class, we have defined sine theta as ratio of Y coordinate by radius. Here, Y coordinate of P is Y and radius is R here. Similarly, cos theta is defined as x coordinate by radius. Here it is x by r. And tan theta defined as the ratio of y coordinate of the point to the x coordinate. Here it is y coordinate of the point P is y and x coordinate of the point P is x. Similarly, cosec theta is the ratio of the radius to the y coordinate of the point. So it is r by y. Also, we can take it as the reciprocal of sine theta. Sine theta is y by r. So cosec theta is reciprocal of sine that is r by y. And sec theta, the ratio of radius to the x coordinate of the point. So we have r by x. Finally, cot theta, the ratio of x coordinate of the point to the y coordinate of the point. So here the x coordinate of point P is x and y coordinate is y. Now writing the conclusion of these things here, in the first line we have sine theta equals to y by r. So here it is sine theta equals to y by r. In the second line we have cos theta equals to x by r. Similarly, in the third line, we have tan theta equals to y by x. Cosec theta, in the fourth line, we have r by y. And the next one, ratio sec theta, this is equals to r by x from here. And lastly, the cot theta is equals to x by y. Now to work further, let's do some construction. Since here is no workspace, Let's do it in another page. Page number two here, figure from the previous page and these things we have already uh, done in the first page. Now let's draw PM perpendicular to X axis here. PM is perpendicular to X axis. With the help of this coordinate PXY, we can have the length of OM as X so we write it here, OM equals to X. Similarly, length of PM is Y. Here it is, PM equals to Y. And here, OP equals to R. In this right angle triangle PMO, we have labeled all the three sides. Now let's label the angles also. So the first angle, angle POM, we have this one, blue part, this is equals to theta. The second angle, angle PMO equals to 90 degree because we have drawn PM perpendicular X axis. So we write it here, angle PMO equals to 90 degree. Now let's calculate this third angle. We know in a triangle, sum of all the angles is 180 degree. So here it is, the first angle, angle POM, second angle PMO and the third one angle OPM equals to 180 degree. Sum of all the interior angles of a triangle is 180. Let's substitute the known values. Angle POM is theta. The first one is theta. Angle PMO, the second one here, this one is 90 degree. And OPM, we don't know its value, so let it be. Now shifting this theta to the right-hand side and 90 degree to the right-hand side, 
we have this angle OPM, it is 90 degree minus theta. So here we write angle OPM equals to 90 degree minus theta. In the figure, angle OPM is right over here. OPM, this one, this one, angle OPM, 90 degree minus theta. Now, in this right angle triangle OPM, taking angle OPM, which is 90 degree minus theta, this one, 90 degree minus theta, as a reference angle, we have perpendicular is OM. Perpendicular, which is opposite to the reference angle that is OM and whose value is X. Similarly, base is B, which is PM, whose value is Y and hypotenuse H is opposite to the 90 degree and whose value is R. Now let's find all the trigonometric ratios of the angle 90 degree minus theta. The first one sine 90 degree minus theta. We know its ratio is perpendicular by hypotenuse. For this angle 90 degree minus theta, we have already mentioned perpendicular P is X here. So let's write is P is X and hypotenuse, it is here H equals to R. So H is replaced by R, X by R. We have the ratio of sine 90 degree minus theta is X by R. But from our previous work, X by R is the value of cos theta. So we replace this X by R by cos theta here. Here it is cos theta. Similarly, second ratio cos 90 degree minus theta. For this 90 degree minus theta, uh, the cos ratio is base by hypotenuse. Base, we have already mentioned right over here, B equals to Y and H we have R. So it is Y by R. Again, let's check our previous work. This Y by R is the ratio sine theta. So we replace this Y by R by sine theta. The third ratio tan 90 degree minus theta. It is perpendicular by base. We have already mentioned this P equals to X here. So let's replace P by X and B we have value Y. So P by B we have X by Y. Look at this ratio number six, cot theta. Cot theta equals to X by Y. So we can replace this X by Y by cot theta. Here it is. Now, another ratio, cosec 90 degree minus theta. It is hypotenuse by perpendicular. Hypotenuse here it is R and perpendicular here it is X. So H by P equals to R by X. Look at ratio number five, sec theta. This is equals to R by X. So this R by X can be replaced by sec theta. Now for sec 90 degree minus theta, its ratio is hypotenuse by base. So H is R and B is Y, again taken from this portion and R by Y, it is the ratio cosec theta. Look at this number four here. R by Y is cosec theta. So we are going to replace this R by Y by cosec theta. Now, the last ratio cot 90 degree minus theta, which is B by P. Substituting the values of B by P, B is Y and P is X. We have it as Y by X. Look at ratio number three here, tan theta equals to y by x. So this y by x can be replaced by tan theta. Let's write the conclusion here. Sine 90 degree minus theta is cos theta. Similarly, from the second line we have cos 90 degree minus theta is equals to sine theta. Third one, 
tan 90 degree minus theta equals to cot theta. The fourth line, cosec 90 degree minus theta equals to sec theta. Second last one, sec 90 degree minus theta equals to cosec theta. And the last ratio, cot 90 degree minus theta equals to tan theta. So here we have found all the trigonometric ratios of the angle 90 degree minus theta. Okay, students, this much for now. In our next video, we'll be finding trigonometric ratios of the angle 90 degree plus theta. Thank you for watching this video.